Good afternoon. Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina, home of Carolina Aircraft. I'm George Johnson, the Bonanza Man, and today we're here to look at a very low time, beautiful 1997 model Bonanza A36 that has been updated and has outstanding equipment. Let's take a look. November 9 Yankee Tango only has 907 hours total time airframe and engine. Now our plan is to deliver this airplane with a brand new overhauled engine by Triad Aviation with new Millennium cylinders. Because I have a few low cylinders on this engine and rather than piecemeal it or just do a top overhaul, we thought the new buyer would appreciate a new engine under new warranty. This engine is equipped with GAMI fuel injectors. It has a JPI graphic engine monitor. It has factory air conditioning and it has a reef engine heater. November 9 Yankee Tango has a three blade Macaulay prop and this prop only has 472 hours since overhaul. November 9 Yankee Tango is equipped with VGs, vortex generators. This makes the airplane safer by lowering your stalling speed. November 9 Yankee Tango is equipped with a beautiful paint job. I would rate it about an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10. It's also equipped with a beautiful leather interior and it has the G&D tinted window inner panes. In addition to this, the airplane just got a new annual and the next annual is due April 1st, 2015. The tail on November 9 Yankee Tango is in excellent condition. You won't see any paint chips or any corrosion. It's got plenty of paint on it and it's in really nice condition. November 9 Yankee Tango has the big double cargo doors and club seating with a beautiful leather interior. Let's take a look inside. Bonanza 9 Yankee Tango has a beautiful leather interior. Look at the condition of these leather seats. They're in excellent condition. Also the condition of the side walls and the mahogany wood trim. And you'll notice the airplane has GND tinted window inner panes. And the headliner is also in excellent condition. There's plenty of room back here as well. I'm almost six feet tall and I've got plenty of headroom. I've got plenty of leg room. And with this armrest, it's almost like sitting in an easy chair in my living room. Very comfortable airplane, very flexible and easy to use. One of the things that people really like about the A36 Bonanza is the club seating that is reversible. Let me show you how flexible this interior is. If you take a look at these back seats, first of all, we can just fold these up out of the way just that easy if you just need extra leg room. If you want to take these rear seats out, all we have to do is pull the two pins here on the bottom and the seats come right out. In less than 30 seconds, I can have the seats out in the back here in the airplane. In addition to this, these center seats can be turned around forward facing. All you do is pull this seat off this track, that seat off that track, this seat goes on that side, that seat goes on this side because of the armrest in the center. When you do that, if, this seat, if these seats are out, you have from here back for cargo and you still have leg room in the center for your uh, third and fourth passengers. November 9 Yankee Tango has a beautiful instrument panel with a lot of great equipment. It's been upgraded with a Garmin 530W and has some unique features. Let's take a look. Let's take a look starting on the pilot side. Right here we have an airspeed indicator and then this is your artificial horizon. You'll notice the flight director comes up in there and then we have altitude and vertical speed pre-select for the autopilot and then we have an encoding altimeter. On the next row we have your instrument air gauge and then your two-minute turn coordinator and this is your King KCS 55A slaved HSI which houses your number one nav, your number one GPS and your number one glide slope. Beside this is your vertical speed indicator. On the last row we have your number two nav indicator and you'll notice it also has a glide slope and then we have your WX1000 plus storm scope that is also slaved. And then we have a 
King KN63 DME with NAV1 and NAV2 switching and DME hold. And then we have your InSight uh, graphic engine monitor that monitors all six cylinders. Now let's take a look at your avionics stack. Starting at the top, this is your King KMA24 audio panel with your three light marker beacons. Below this is your Garmin 530W with WAS, and we have several pages. This is your nav page with your HSI display. This is your normal nav page. This is your XM satellite weather page. This has XM weather. And this is your terrain page, and it will show red since we're on the ground. And this is your information and your satellite pages. Below this is your number two NAVCOM. This is a King KX165 NAVCOM. And then we have a King KT70 Mode S transponder. And this is your autopilot. This has the King KFC150 autopilot, flight director, slaved HSI system with altitude and vertical speed pre-select. Beside your primary instrument stack is a CD player. And th this is a shade and fuel flow. And then we have a built-in connector for an iPad mount, so you can mount your uh, iPad on here. I'll show you that in just a minute. This is your ADF. It has a KR87 ADF with dual timers and dual frequency displays. You'll notice that we've had the switch on for 7 minutes and 15 seconds. To the right of this stack is your intercom system. It has a 6-place PM3000 intercom system, and you'll notice that uh, the airplane is also equipped with factory air conditioning, and this is your ELT display. Now let's take a look at the pilot's control wheel. In the front we have a mic button or push to talk button. This is your autopilot disconnect button, and this is your control wheel steering button which puts your flight director up in your artificial horizon. The airplane is equipped with electric elevator trim, and this is your electric trim switch. In the center we have a control wheel clock. And this doubles as a timer for shooting approaches. On the right hand side of the control wheel we have a transponder ident button on top and then we have a map light. This puts a light in your pilot's lap, a light in the outside air temperature gauge, and a light in the compass. You've also got one of these on the co-pilot's wheel. Uh, in the windshield you'll notice it has a vertical card compass system and you'll notice the windshield and windows are very clear with no crazing in the airplane. And I also want to point out a iPad mount so that you can have your uh, Stratus unit, your foreflight for your charts and that sort of thing mounted right in the airplane. If you want a great buy in a beautiful 1997 Bonanza A36 that's very low time, you need to visit Carolina Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina and see November 9 Yankee Tango. This airplane is equipped with a KFC-150 autopilot flight director slaved HSI system with altitude and vertical speed pre-select. It has a Garmin 530W with WAS and a complete IFR package of avionics. In addition, it has factory air conditioning, it has VGs, XM satellite weather, a WX-1000E storm scope, and a lot of other great equipment. We're also going to have the engine completely overhauled with new Millennium Cylinders by Triad Aviation. Visit Carolina Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina to see November 9 Yankee Tango or give us a call at 336-665-0300 and be sure to visit CarolinaAircraft.com to see this gorgeous Bonanza A36 and all of our other Bonanzas and Barons. Have a great day!